All right, today we are going to be talking about adding integers with different signs. So I'm going to zoom in on my page so I can see it a little bit bigger. We are going to be using the integer chips just like we used yesterday. So remember, if you need to get to the integer chips, you go to your Northside portal. And in Braining Camp, there is the two color counters. And you can change it down here in the bottom right from basic to integer chips. And then you can see that they have positive signs and negative signs on them. Okay, now something important that I want to show you guys today is if I have one positive chip and one negative chip, they actually cancel each other out and they make what we call a zero pair. Okay, so they actually make a zero pair because one plus negative one is zero. So think about it this way. If I have a dollar, I have positive one. If I owe you a dollar, that's negative one. So if I have a dollar and then I owe you a dollar, then really I have nothing because I'm going to give you that dollar and it's going to cancel out. Okay, so we have to know that a positive and a negative make a zero pair just like that. So both of them together. Okay, so positive and a negative together make a zero pair. Okay, and it's equal to zero. So that's really important for us to know when we're doing our notes today. Okay, so we're going to start off just like we did yesterday with the integer chip. So we're going to look at the first question. It says 6 plus negative 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add six of these positive integer chips because our first number is positive six. So two, three, four, five, and six. And then our second number is negative two. So that means just below it, we're going to put two negatives. So one and two. And if you remember what I just told you with Braining Camp was that a positive and a negative together cancel each other out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a line and I'm going to draw a line through my positive and my negative. Maybe. Draw a line through my positive and my negative. And I'm going to make this line a little bit bigger and fatter so we can see it. Okay, so we have one line through that because those cancel each other out because it's one positive and one negative. Okay, I'm going to copy my line and I'm going to paste my line and I'm going to put it right on this one because again, a positive and a negative cancel each other out. And when I look at what I have left right here, okay, I have one, two, three, four chips that are left and they are all positive chips. So that mean my, means my answer is positive four. So 6 plus negative 2 is positive 4. Okay. So when we look at the, other, the next one, we have negative 9. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a lot. 8. <laughs> and nine. And then our second number says plus positive seven. So right below that, I'm gonna put seven positives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so just like before, we're gonna add a line and we're gonna say a positive and a negative, cancel each other out. I'm going to add another line, a positive and a negative, cancel each other out. Uh-oh, that line didn't go where I wanted it to. Okay, we're going to keep canceling out our positives and our negatives. That line went all crazy. Okay, a positive and a negative, cancel each other out. My lines are going all kinds of crazy. I'm just going to paste some lines here. Okay, a positive and a negative, cancel each other out. Positive and a negative, cancel each other out. And positive and a negative, cancel each other out. So once I cancel out all of my positive and my negatives, I find those zero pairs, then I figure out that what I have left over is two of them that are negative. So my answer is going to be negative two. Okay, negative two. Then we're going to do our last question here. So our last question, it says positive eight plus negative eight. So we're going to do eight positive chips. Six, seven, and 
8, and then we're going to do 8 negative chips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we're going to do the same thing where we make our zero pairs. So we're going to put a line through our first pair, a line through our second pair, a line through our third pair, a line through our fourth pair. That pair is a little crooked, but that's okay. A line through our fifth pair. We're going to keep going until there's no more pairs. So if we notice, we were able to make a pair with every one of those lines. So this means that there was nothing left over and nothing is equal to zero. So positive eight plus negative eight is going to equal zero, okay? Now, over here, we're gonna use the number line to model each of the sums. So just like yesterday when we had our arrows and you can click at the top up here and you can select an arrow, yet just like yesterday, we're gonna start at zero. And our first number is positive five. So we're gonna draw an arrow from zero to positive five, okay? And our second number says negative two, okay? So if we remember yesterday, I'm gonna add a text box over here. Yesterday we said negative is to the right, or to the left, sorry, left, positive, is to the right, because that's where our positive numbers are. So if negative is to the left, then that means I'm gonna start at five with my arrow, and I'm gonna go to the left two spaces. So one, two, two jumps. And where I end up, where my arrow ends up, is my answer. So my answer is three, because that's where my arrow ended up. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. So we have Six, so we're gonna go from, we're gonna add an arrow. We're gonna go from zero to six, okay? And then we have plus negative nine. So if you look over here, negative says to the left. So we're gonna make our arrow, we're gonna start at six, cause that's where our arrow left off, and we're gonna go nine spaces to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down here. And our arrow ended up at what number? our arrow ended up at negative three. So that's my answer, it's negative three. Okay. So if we notice in all of these, whatever the bigger number is, tells us if our answer is positive or negative. Okay, so if you look, our bigger number was five in the first, in number four, so our answer was positive. In this next one, our greater number was the number nine, so our answer was negative. Okay, so in this next one, if we look at our and if we look at our numbers, the bigger number is five, so that means my answer should be positive, so we're going to check it out. Okay, so we're going to make our arrow, we're going to start at zero, and this time we're going to go to negative four, because that's my first number, so we're going to go from zero to negative four. Okay, and then our second number says that it is plus positive five. So if positive is to the right is what we said. So we're going to go from four. We're going to go five spaces to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, my arrow's going crazy. Five. My arrow's going crazy. Okay, so five spaces to the right. When we get there, we end up at the number one. Okay, so now we're going to try and create Ah, create a rule for adding integers with different signs. So the rule we can say is we can say, find the difference of the absolute value. The difference means you're kind of subtracting the absolute value of each number of the numbers and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value.
And remember, when you guys are doing your assignment for today, you guys can go back to your portal and you guys can use this braining camp and you can put all the pieces on there and you can match them up and put them right below each other. Okay, and then you can make your pairs that way and zero them out to help you guys. Okay, or you can write it on a piece of paper. All right, have a good day, guys.